Hi, this is Namrata Gulati Safra, Deputy Editor at Saur Energy International. With us today is Mr. Harendra Tomar. He is in the Business Development Department at SunGrow and Mr. Rishabh Anand, Technical Lead at SunGrow. Thank you so much for joining us. Firstly, please tell, tell us about the latest technological innovations from SunGrow. Yeah, so we have launched a new utility scale central and string inverters which are catering to the market and the requirements from the grid as well as the ambient temperature requirements which are there. So these are rated at 51 degrees. We have had a central inverter which is completely modular in nature and which improves the uptimes and has an ease of serviceability. Same way, uh, the string inverter has also been optimized as a generation 2 of the same capacity string inverter. On the residential and the C&I front also, we have launched inverters which have a lot of ease of use with respect to the installation, the maintenance and the data capturing features. So all these uh, are the cumulative uh, uh, feedback uh, as per received from the customers and we have implemented them in our products which are in display in this REI 2023. And what are the uh, capacities range that you offer your products in? Well, in residential single phase, we are offering up to 5 kilowatt. Uh, in three phase, we offer from 5 kilowatt to 20 kilowatt. Moving on in uh, C&I, we are in 33, 50, 125 kilowatt. Then we are in a utility scale string that is 295 kilowatt. And in central inverters, we have modular solution in multiples of 1.1 megawatt. And we also have 3.125 and 5 megawatt uh, inverter solutions. Um, you know, after speaking to several inverter firms at the REI, we realized that the residential sales, sales seem to have gone down. Would you agree why or why not? No, I think if we see the uh, trend in the last quarter itself, the uh, trend has gone up. Reason being, this market is totally driven by the module price. And module price has come down in last, uh, we can say, two quarters. So that's why we are seeing a uptrend in residential market and coming quarter we are seeing uh, more uh, uptrend in the residential segment. Okay. That's what I think. Uh, the northern region of India and Gujarat have been particularly performing well in the utility sector. Uh, what is your share there and uh, what are the reasons behind the success in these regions? Yeah, as uh, my colleague Mr. Risavaran told, we are innovating our product in all the segments. Sangro is the only company who is offering product in uh, all three segments, residential, commercial and utility. If we talk about the utility particularly, northern uh, states are, uh, I think, uh, all over India, more than 70% capacity being put in uh, northern states, including uh, Rajasthan, uh, MP, uh, and that uh, Gujarat region also if you talk about the western part of something like that. So uh, if we talk about the SunGrow product offering, uh, we introduced this our OnePlus X series model last year and by this is the a big hit product for us. And this year we are expecting our market share all over India it is more than 40% and if we talk about that in northern region it is more than 50% that we have market share in the utility segment please tell us about your uh, installed capacity so far in india so we already now near to touch around 20 gigawatt of shipment uh, for sun grow inverter maybe next month or by end of this month you will hear our pr and our news release that we are uh, touching that 20 gigawatt of shipment and uh, if you were to draw a comparison between central inverter and string inverter, uh, which one is which offers more efficiency and cost savings and which one is going to rule the future? See, both have their own uh, use scenarios, use cases. Uh, central inverter is obviously cost effective. So what we have tried to do over here with our central inverters is we have tried to inculcate some of the philosophies of string inverters. The benefits of string inverters now are transferred to central inverter and since the size is large you have lesser number of variables in the field which makes it easy for the customer to manage and control the whole plant. So we have best of both string inverters and central inverters so it is very difficult to pinpoint amongst the both of them but as per the use case scenarios we have best optimized products in both central and string 
so both can be used depending on the topography the place where they are getting installed the type of access to that plant and lot many factors which will contribute to the decision making and moving ahead what are the capacities that you're looking at in the next 2 to 3 years capacity you are talking in terms of project installation uh, any I mean, water shipment goals water yeah yeah so uh, if you I mean, see last one or two years trends in india last year indian market did almost uh, 13, 14 gigawatt of solar this year we are expecting more than 16 or around 17 gigawatt of solar installation and going ahead uh, next uh, one or two, year, two years uh, we are expecting that it, it may touch around 19 to 20 gigawatt also because there are lot of push are there there are uh, lot of uh, policy changes are there from government side lot of uh, uh, developers and uh, apcs are uh, coming out there is uh, i think there is no short of kind of issue for funding of the re projects so Uh, we are looking that uh, that may touch 20 gigawatt every year of installation easily thank you so much for the interaction thank you, thank you.